Thank you. Uh, and, and let me uh, real quick, if I may, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Director, uh, the legislation 4554 that, uh, as I understand the, the, the tenor of the questioning uh, to you by, by, the, by the minority is, uh, is, uh, is, 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 the, is the huge, is the greatest threat faced, uh, being faced by America's identity in the history of this nation. <laughs> And uh, and you mentioned it, and, and, you know, I always find it ironic that when we get to these discussions that other thing, it becomes an ideological one. It is not an ideological one. This discussion and even and, and the legislation that Mr. Green and others are supporting is 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 about bringing a process into an issue that is controversial and it's controversial because it's tied to the fact that decisions are not made on real history and decisions are not made on 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 real facts and 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 Mr. Caldwell, talk about that process and talk about the the need uh, that we have to do that because you know it's it's also you know telling our history as a nation is an important one. We're a diverse nation and all that history should be told. We shouldn't erase some of it and we shouldn't invent any of it and we shouldn't protect any of it from the reality and the truth. And if if and if they're not consistent with what this country purports to be, we need to deal with it. And we need, and, and this process and the legislation provides the Park Service, provides this Congress with an opportunity to do that in a pragmatic, fact-based, history-based process with the public involved uh, and not shut out of it. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Caldwell, talk about that process and why I, as, as you mentioned it twice in your response to questions, it is a critical part of the legislation. Thank you, Congressman, for your question. I think as just to reiterate, as you said, there is a process established in this bill. Uh, department supports that. They support the process, particularly as you alluded to, the public part of the process. And just reassuring no decisions have been made. Um, you know, a process is important, as you talked about. And we support this bill. The establishment of place name is that are that are equitable and just and honor the cultural diversity of the United States and really advance the dignity for all people of the United States and using a process where these conversations can happen is a critical piece of this uh, of this bill. For too long, Mr. Chairman, and, and I want to applaud you and, and, and your committee members for having this hearing and all the legislation that's on there. You know, the, 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 from uh, the preservation of Cajun history and culture and music uh, uh, to the acknowledgement of uh, the horrors and the misery of, of, of slave trade in this country. That's our story. And, and, and when you tell the full and real story, Mr. Chairman, and that's why I applaud you because this adds to America's story and uh, all these items on, on this agenda do and and I what the past and the current lifetime that we're living through uh, events that are, that are shaping our history is defining us as a nation and I want to thank you for that because you know when we tell the real history it uh, it is not about uh, it's not an attack on anybody I'm not attacking any of my colleagues uh, when I want to tell the history I want to acknowledge uh, the importance, the significance, and the history of, of a segregated school in Texas, and thank Mr. Gonzalez for that, or to acknowledge the, the, the reality of the slave trade. Telling that full history is not attacking an individual. It is not attacking our country. It is telling the history of this nation, blemishes, good looks, warts and all. That's us, and uh, I, I applaud you for for bringing those kinds of items before us and, and something that the full committee can take action. And I yield back. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, so the chairman yields back. The chair now recognizes Mr. Moore for five minutes for any questions.